Yo, what it is, y'all? What y'all got going on today, man? Good health, good wealth to you, man. Y'all already know, ask value to the value, because if you don't, you devaluing the value, my nigga. <laughs> Video though, got another video for y'all. Actually, killing another doing love two for one real quick for y'all, real quick. Get some of these videos out, some of this content going. Um, uh, been asking it, you know, everybody been asking me about these different guns, but today we're gonna do my um MMP 1522 Smith and Wesson MMP 1522 AR style body. Uh, um, I got the mag over there. I actually didn't want to put no mag in this for the video. Might get that for y'all. Yeah, let me get that real quick. MP1522. Gonna clear the gun. No magazine, obviously, no mag. Clear. This one actually got a thumb safety, or, or safety is by the thumb, if you call it AR thumb safety. Boy, if you don't. But you got the thumb safety right here. I don't know if y'all let me get that enough for y'all. Safe and fire. Safe fire. So when you're shooting, it's actually by your thumb. If you're shooting left handed, it's gonna be by your, you know, if you're shooting lefty, it's gonna be by your, your finger right here. You know, some people actually switch it and do it with their left hand, but me, I'm shooting righty most times. Most times I do shoot both handed. What's crazy? People be tripped out about that, but I'm ambidextrous with everything, so I'm used to it. What? Oh my god! Yeah, but most times I'm shooting right handed because it's just how guns built, to be honest with you. They build left hand guns, but most guns is built like that. And most times it's going to be right there by your thumb. So, you know, you can just flip it on and off as you're shooting, you know, get it on safe, you get on your target, throw it right off safe, boom, get into fire. But, put that back on safe. Got a bolt catch on the side, we're clear, obviously. But yeah, we're going to get into this. And some of the specs. This is an AR style gun. So we're going to go with five facts about this gun. Also, five things that I like. Um, I really don't got too much that I don't, that I don't like about this gun. Because it's the AR build and got the AR body on it. Honestly. But five facts about this gun and five things that I like. We're going to go with number one. I like that it's a 22. I can shoot this thing all day at the range. <laughs> What the hell you think you're doing with that little shit? <laughs> Them bullets so cheap, man. Them 22 LRs, 22 long rifles, for some people that don't know. Um, actually, I got some right here. Them 22 so cheap, beloved. Mine, I been shooting at the range. Them 50 of them joints are like, I forgot how much, but I know they super cheap, bro. Like, them things super cheap. That's number one that I do like about this, and it's an AR style body. So if you want to learn, like like I'm like I'm doing, learning how to break down an AR, how to clean an AR, how to shoot an AR better, cause everybody can you know hit the target with with an AR assault rifle. Like I said, I'm a perfectionist, so when it comes to guns, I like to be perfect. I wanna I wanna know that my mistakes ain't the gun mistakes, or that the gun mistakes ain't my mistakes, if it makes sense to some of y'all. Because guns have malfunctions, they are machines, they do have malfunctions, jams, misfires, misfeed. It's a lot of different things you can get into when it comes to guns having malfunctions. Not cleaning it properly. I can go all day, that's another video. Number two is, I like that it got the Picatinny rails, like I was telling y'all about, uh, the handgun, the P80. You got Picatinny's at the bottom, and these are spots for like actually stuff like this. This sight, that's what these Picatinny's are for. These rail Picatinny rails. Um, you can put lights on them, red dots. You can put. Um, I actually finna get some flip up sights for this. I actually got some on the way, so when I put those on, I'll be updating this real soon. But um, you can get some black 
or some FDE. I don't know. I don't know what colors I want to make this gun. I actually want to customize this gun. I'm gonna do some crazy to this gun. I'm like, you know, I, I like the Joker. I like Scarface, obviously. See Scarface up there, but I like the Joker too. Like the Joker, I love that sinister bastard. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I love doing ass, but wait a minute. Look crazy, but I, I actually want to do something like Joker theme with this gun. I want to find somebody to Cerakote guns or, you know, so if you know somebody that do that, paint guns or whatever. Number two. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Number three. I'm capping. Pistol grip, obviously. This is not Magpul. This is pistol grip that came with Smith & Wesson. I actually like this one, so I didn't change it out. It got the, the little ridge in there for your finger, so you can actually get in there. You know, got the little ridge right there. I actually like this. It's kind of slim, kind of fit. It fit the gun. It fit the fit the fit the rifle. We got this um six position brace, so you go, you know, click in different six different positions. You got all the way up. You got all the way back. Smith and Western too. It's not mad cool. I don't know anybody thinking I'm capping about these. So look it up. Six position. Um. I like that because, like, you got something that's three position, something that's four position, and it really don't extend enough for me. This one, I don't use it all the way extended out because I feel like that it, it help, hurt my accuracy. So I do, like, halfway, let me say, so you'll see the buffer tube a little bit, and I get under that sight like that, you know. Obviously, you flip these up, obviously. Get your sight picture, you know. And once you get, get in there, you can, you can actually rest your cheek up against the, the stock. Or you can get a cheek riser. It's a thing called a cheek riser that go on the back of your stocks and all of that different stuff. Where you can have a little a little cushion, you know. But this 22 really don't kick like that. So I can shoot this just like this. Boom. But I like this stock a lot, honestly. Polymer. Whole gun, actually, that's another thing. Whole gun is really, except probably like M block on here. No, that's polymer too. Yeah. The whole gun, basically a polymer gun too. That's another thing I didn't say. That's nice. I like that. Stock, real nice. I'm rocking with his stock. I ain't even going to cap to y'all. I'm rocking with it the long way. The long, long way. Pause, granddad. If then you got, um... You got this hoop on the back. I don't know what this called. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, but I know what it's used for and I know how to use it. It's um used for straps. So if you want to put a strap across your gun, you actually throw it through the end block. End block. Put the stock on your gun. Throw the throw the strap connector on here, and then you attach it to the end block right here, the rail. And boom, you good to go, shorty. Then we gonna go to number four, number fino. Like I was saying earlier about the polymer, I like that this gun is mostly polymer. Like the bolt is metal, obviously the bolt right here, that's in here. See that metal piece. I like that that's metal. I like that the most of the gun is polymer though. I like that it came with this sight. Let's say that first of all. And I like that polymer. Polymer is like a plastic uh, metal compound, I think. Oh. Uh, polymer is a plastic. I know that for sure. Polymer is a plastic that kind of like made up of different components. I know them. Make it like this. Be what a nigga like. I like the combination because it's light. Ergonomics, ergonomics is still AR style. And I like that it... That, you can learn with this gun. You got a new shooter. I can put this in my 10 year old nephew hand and he can plink something like on target, not messing around. Groups is nice, you know, and I'm gonna get some video shooting with him in the range too. So y'all know that we actually really with this education and really with the knowledge, we actually putting it out though. We actually giving it back. And you know, I like to get a little bit back in return, you know, just a little bit of knowledge though. Some, some I can use, you know, you might not know about guns, but you might know something that I don't know. That's just how life works. And I'm learning from a nephew. I'm learning from my niece. I'm learning from whoever I can learn from. I'm taking on all knowledge. I'm not denying nobody when they write. We do not argue with people when they write. That's what the world needs to learn. Back to the task at hand. Number five. 
I really, I like the fact that 25 round mags. This one came with a 25 round mag, and I love that because them 10 round mags, boy, boy, let me tell you, boy, you be reloading in the range all, you be reloading in the range all day more than you shoot. Boy, I ain't with all that. Boy, give me two 25 round mags. I'm actually trying to find some of these. They stopped making these right now. I'm a little hurt about that. But I'm gonna find some. I need at least one more. But 25 round mag is what you need to go with if you got this gun. Just off the fact, or you can buy you three, four, five, ten round mags. I don't know. I really ain't trying to buy those. I seen some for sale, but I don't really want those. I want that 25 round. I just like how it look, honestly. Give you that AI style look still, you know. So far as like look. If you want for looks, I'm a, I'm an aesthetic guy, by the way. I like, ex I like how a gun look. I like the way it, it looked in my hand. I, I'm all, I'm about all that, the, the the finish, the colors. I'm an aesthetic guy, so you would give me all on a gun with just some colors. Sometimes, sometimes, I ain't buying no none of them boobos. We ain't doing that. Those up. I like the aesthetics on this gun, fires with the mag in it. I had a look with the mag, and then like I was telling you about the handguns, you got a mag release. This one is actually right here, so. Push that in, drop your clip. Obviously. No, check this clear. Clear. Um, but yeah, I like I like the mag. That's number five. I like I like the 25 round mag. I like that it come with that. I like that I ain't had to buy this on my own. Um got the 10 round mag too. But 25 round mag, I like how that how that how that look. I like the capacity, I like the velocity of the bullets out of this build so far as like when you put the clip in you got the oh yeah this one got an assist button on it too as well so when you loading got the assist and drop them bullets in the, the proper way so <laughs> dang uh, <laughs> you got assist though you got an assist button on this put this down assist button on this so you load your bullets Obviously, like the one I just swung out of there. Assist, boom. There you go. I ain't gonna lie, this tether thumbs up sometimes too, but some people do it with both fingers. But this tether fingers up too. I ain't gonna lie to you, how your fingers all. Yeah, you might need some gloves for that. Made by Smith and Wesson, obviously. I don't know if y'all can see their logo. You get third and nerve for y'all. Yeah, there we go. 22 LI, 25 round mag. That's number five that I like. I'm going to give y'all a bonus one on this one because this M-Lock is actually real good. And I actually like the look of it on this gun, to be honest with you. I like the look of it. It make it, make it look different. Like, you would be like, oh, that's a 22. You no, know, that's what most people say when they see this. But I like the M-Lock on there. But like I said, get the extra Picatinny's. Throw them Picatinny's on the side or you want to do underneath. However you want to do it, you can do it like that where you ain't got to buy that extra attachment for the M-Lock. Muzzle device on the front, like a flash hider. That's what it is. You know, if y'all play Call of Duty or if y'all know what it is, but do a little research on flash hiders and muzzle devices. That's what that is on the front of this flash hider. This trigger, this trigger is nice. I'm rocking with this trigger. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. At first, I really wasn't thinking it was gonna be nothing. When I was in the range, I tested the trigger pull, clear, so y'all can see. Um, I'm, I'm tripping. But, as you can see, trigger pull is awesome. Look at that. There's no take up. I'm talking about, man, I'll put that trigger in the ram, shooting it, and I got some footage. I'm going to drop down there for y'all. But, yeah, check me out. I want to put a binary trigger in there. I'm actually looking into that. So, this is right here. It's one of my babies. And it's really going to be my baby when I, you know, put that, put that Joker, thought, that Joker theme on there. Boy, let me tell you, boy, boy. This is my M&P 1522. This is 
22 caliber, 22 LR, of course. Appreciate y'all for checking in on this video. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all already know all that. Show the boy some love. Send me them good comments, bad comments, whatever it is. Throw it in there. We ain't worried about none of that. Good health, good web to you. Until next time, we got more videos coming, more content coming. Add some value to the value. Because if you don't, you devaluing the value. Remember that.